and uh, welcome to the series of AWS uh, tutorials. So in my last tutorial, I talked about how we can activate MFA, which is multi-factor authentication for the root user. So it is always recommended by AWS to use MFA to log into your AWS console because if someone guesses your uh, uh, password, you root your password, they can access and hack your AWS account and they can do everything they want. Okay, so it's always necessary to enable multi-factor authentication. So if you have not enabled uh, multi-factor authentication in your, in your AWS console, uh, you must uh, watch my last video which I have shared. So I just, I'm going to show you that. So you have to go to our channel and this is my last video. Okay, so yeah, so you have to check uh, how I have uh, set up the MFA for uh, accessing the AWS console. Okay, so in my current tutorial, I'm going to talk about how we can uh, create users and groups and how we can set permissions to the users. Okay, how we can assign uh, necessary permissions to user, how we cannot give them extra permissions, which is not required. Okay, because AWS, uh, you know, takes care of security and policies and permissions really well. And, uh, you know, we, we are only supposed to give access to user, uh, the kind of access they need and not the extra access that they don't need. Okay, so on the basis of that concept, uh, AWS provides us uh, with uh, lots of policies, you know, groups and rules that we can create here. Okay, so that's what we are going to see here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to go to my console, okay, which I am I'm already logged in here. So all you have to do is you have to go to your services and in the search, you can type IAM. And when you click on IAM, you will be logged in, you will be there in your identity access management, okay. So uh, let's say you have to set up an infrastructure with hundreds, hundreds of users, okay, and you want to uh, create uh, users with a similar kind, okay. So you are not going to create uh, users one by one, right? You are not going to create user and then assign permissions to them one by one. So it's always a better way to create groups, okay, and then uh, assign policy to that group and then add users to that group, okay. So Let's, let's just try to understand how it works. So I'm quickly going to click on add user. Okay. And we are going to create three users. So I have this scenario where I have to create the first user who has only read access to the S3 bucket, which is one of the AWS service. He should not be able to access other services. Similarly, we are going to create second user who has only read only access to EC2 instances. And again, we are going to create a third user who has complete access to EC2 instances. He should be able to start, stop, but he should not be able to do anything apart from that. Okay, so this is the requirement. Okay, so let's just start and do it. Okay, so first user, I'm going to give it name as user one. And I am going to give a password because of course, you have to uh, uh, give a password to all your users. So. So I'm just giving something like that. Okay, so random password. Okay, so it should be, uh, you know, following the password policy. So I'm just setting it for now. So when you click on this, click on next, click on permissions. Okay. And then what you have to do is you have to, uh, so this is my first user and then click on just you know you don't have to do anything here we just click on next and then just give it a name like you name my uh, first user something like that these tags are necessary when you are searching for them okay so users have no permissions okay so uh, create user so similarly I am going to create two more users okay so I'll quickly Go ahead and create two more users. So first of all, you have to create uh, uh, three users, you know, and 
let me quickly click create user 2 again I am setting a password for that okay so I'm not setting it in the next sign in then what I'm going to do is I'm not getting I'm assigning no permissions here again name second user okay no permissions as of now so just creating the third user also okay so close so similarly in fact you can create uh, users in bulk using the using this cli which we are going to see later so as of now we are only creating three users so but you have to make sure that you remember the password okay because you have to log in with that okay so yeah so i have created the three users name user three okay so once we have done that what we are going to do is now see like let's say i have uh, hundreds of users like this we have created them but now we cannot assign permissions individually to each of them right so what we do is we uh, we add the users to groups so we have this groups okay so go to user 1 and click on user 1 okay and then click on groups and add user to groups so i am adding this user 1 to my ec2 read only okay so and then like i click on this so if you click on this so now what is ec2 read only it has only amazon ec2 read only access so if you click on this so I'm sorry this is opening something else so this is the group that i have added okay so this group has some policy which I, which is already set so if you click on permissions so see here it is it is having and it is a, a managed policy by aws you see it is aws managed you can also create your own policy okay if you click on plus see this is the policy which is read only access to aws i'm sorry ec2 so they can only describe the ec2 they can only list uh, how many instances are there but they cannot do anything you know like start or stop something like that okay so this is the read only access so in fact you can edit it you can change it also and you can create your own policy but this is amazon managed policy so i'm, I'm just using that similarly i am going to uh, user 2 and i am going to add user 2 to okay so i'm going to add user 2 to to s3 read only okay so uh, okay so i'm not really sure i'm following this so first user has s3 okay so first user has s3 bucket so first user i think i have added into uh, ec2 read only so i'll just write it here ec2 read only access okay so Second, second one I am adding it to S3 read only. So second user has uh, S3 read only access. And then I have a third user which is having complete access to EC2 instances. They can do everything like, you know, start, stop, or uh, list, stop, terminate, everything they can do. So just click on user 3 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to groups and add users to group. Okay, so okay, one user can be added to multiple groups. You know, you can assign multiple policies and permissions to a user. So see now I'm assigning is this to uh, EC2 admin group. Okay, now what is EC2 admin? So EC2 admin is uh, it is having full access to ec2 instances okay so you can see if you click on this uh, uh, ec2 uh, now, now we have done this okay 
So now what I have to do is uh, EC2 admin. So if you go to permissions, okay. So see, it has complete access to EC2 instances. Okay, so they can uh, you know uh, stop, start, you know everything they can do, scaling, auto scaling, cloud watch, and all. Okay, so now we have done all these things. So what now we have to do is we have to check whether the users have actual needed permissions, the necessary permission required, and they do not should not have extra permissions right so what we are going to do is we are going to log in with that user okay so i am opening a new console and i'm opening a new console and here what you have to do is you have to just go to users and either you can directly search in um, uh, in google aws management console and we can log in with that but then you need a 12 digit account ID okay so I'm um, just we need to just take this account ID which is here just copy this okay not really sure okay copied so I'm going to a different tab and then I'm going to do like this AWS management console login so I'm logging to user one so logging into console so here uh, you will have x you will see that uh, here you have root user and IAM user so we are we are going to plug in with the IAM user okay so and here you just have to type the 12 digit ID you can also create alias and log in with that so my first user is user one and the password you have to remember that okay so once I log in, let me see what it is saying. You know, it is prompting to change, but that okay, that's fine. <clears throat> okay, so user one, as per our uh, policy, they should only be able to EC2 read only. Okay, so let me just try. So EC2 read only. So if I go to EC2. So I am able to, I should be able to see the instances. So see, uh, if I click on instance, okay, so I, if, I, if I click on instance, see, I am able to see the instances which are there. So if I click on this instance, uh, which I have created earlier, and if I click on actions, or if you go to instance state and try to start it, and let's see what is happening. So you are getting this message. You are not authorized to perform this operation okay so this is because of the user policy okay let's just try to go to something else like s3 for user one so if i click on s3 as per the our settings you should not be able to go to s3 okay you should only go and list out the ec2 instances which is it is able to do apart from that it should not be able to do anything see there is no bucket nothing is shown here okay so that's the thing it is not even able to create a bucket okay so this is our setting now let's try it and log in with another user which is user 2 and we will check uh, we'll check whether uh, okay so i'll just go ahead and log out from here so we checked it is working fine with user 1 okay so sign out so log back in okay so now we are going to do a second user okay so this is user 2 user 2 and you have to remember the password what which you have set up while setting up the user so this is my second user so if I log in with this, so as per my setting, the second user should only be able to have S3 read only access. Okay. So, so if I click on S3, uh, okay, what was that? S3 read only. Okay. So if I click on S3, should be able to view the buckets, right? As per our setting. 
okay so see it is able to see the buckets that i have created and if you want to uh if you want to you know check for anything else like ac2 or anything you know it should not be able to do anything like that so okay so if i go to ec2 instance so instances were visible for my user one if you remember but let's see for okay so i'm getting error yeah that's right so it is not able to list out this you are not authorized to perform this operation as simple as that okay let's check the third user uh, and then our settings will be confirmed and and like we will be able to understand that how the users and groups and policies work with aws okay so now i have this third user <coughs> which has complete access to each of the instances right so user three and what was the password you have to keep that in mind okay so if i sign in right so now if i go and check the ec2 should be able to do everything with ec2 instances like stop start terminate create instances everything so right so if you click on instances see it is able to list out instances what we did was uh, for for the user one we tried to start it but it didn't work let me try here see the the instances successfully started which is what we wanted so user three has complete access to each of the instances to be able to start stop and if you now click on this and you know see this is the public ip you can use it if you don't know how to connect to instances watch my earlier videos how to do that and now if I click on stop instance, I should be able to stop the instance. So it is successfully stopped. Right. So it will go to pending state and it will come back to stop state. So you have to refresh the button. It is stopping. Okay. So it, it is, this is what I wanted to share with you. Okay. So you don't need to uh, <clears throat> uh, create uh, create a user individually and assign individual permissions to them you have to use take help of groups and policies and you can uh, add users multiple users at a time to a group okay so as simple as that and uh, this is all and if you have not subscribed to our channel please subscribe and uh, cheers thanks for watching